this is a one of the application of a pn junction diode pn junction diode is already we have discussed the applications of it the opto electronic devices are one of the applications of pn junction diode among the opto electronic devices photo diode is one of the example okay this is the structure of the photo diode so here it is the p side here it is the n side so one p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor they both joined together and this is the depletion region at this depletion region one light is incident what is the energy of the light the energy of the light we are operating at the depletion region should be more than the or greater than the energy gap of the depletion region so this is e h mu so this e should be greater than e g so it is a p type p type semiconductor n type semiconductor join together a depletion layer forms and some light ray maybe it is a photon photo photosensitive ray or any light which is coming out of a uh, photosensitive object then this light is falling on this depletion region so therefore what happens actually is this is manufactured such like that the recombining takes place at the depletion region what is the meaning of recombination whenever a light is incident at depletion region the depletion layer contains the same number of electrons and same number of protons so what happens is the electrons and protons will or holes will recombine due to the excitation due to the applied energy before they recombine so this n side towards the p side the holes will come towards the n side the electrons will come so before the recombination this transfer of the holes to the p side and the transfer of the electrons to the n side because of this applied energy at the depletion region nothing but the gap between the p and n type of semiconductors so at this case the emf at two sides will increase rapidly once the emf at two sides increases so therefore these holes are connected to the negative terminal this electrons through a load resistor it is connected to the positive terminal thus the current flows so the recombination takes place at depletion region before the recombination these will transfer to their native regions nothing but the electrons to n side and holes to p side so such like that this photodiode is fabricated so there is a slight gap which can allow the incident light through the depletion region so in this depletion region we can expect particles like this once they got the energy they used to recombine so this is the functioning of photodiode once the energy is not greater than eg nothing but the energy gap between the p and n type semiconductors this won't happen this recombination won't take place so that means if the energy is not equal to eg so until and unless that energy is not greater than eg recombination takes place in the depletion region once the energy is more than the applied or more than the energy gap then this diffusion and drifting takes place whenever a field is applied or a load resistor is applied on either ends of the junction diode then it will transfer the current or it will allow the to pass the current this is the mechanism of photo diode and what is the graph of this photo diode at reverse bias this photo diode will give an intensity line so it will be like this this is the graph this is the forward bias section and this is the reverse bias section so this is a vi so v is on the y axis and i is on the x axis so at reverse bias the graphs will be like this for different voltages the different current will takes place
if you see the five lines are formed means there are five currents i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 in reverse bias the all currents lies in the negative section of the current values so it will be in the micro ampere range by milliampere we know that in forward bias so this is reverse bias section this is forward bias section so what is the nature of these slope values i5 is greater than i4 is greater than i3 is greater than i2 is greater than i1 such like that the nature of the current graph between vi characteristics of this photodiode will be useful so this photodiode is an identical pn junction diode which is working in a reverse bias this is the information about the photodiode unless and until the e greater than eg recombination takes place in the depletion region once the energy is greater than eg then they can diffuse and drift towards the p type and n side of the conducting materials the next application of pn junction diode is light emitting diode light emitting diode led so what is this diode why this is able to emit the light this is very very important this led is similar to a pn junction diode first of all pn junction in pn junction diode under the forward bias let me draw the picture this is the depletion region this is p side this is n side forward bias if this is the case what we can understand is this forward and the po the positive holes and positive terminal of the battery repels each other that's why the electrons will come and attract here as well as in negative electrons are more in number majority charge carriers are electrons in the n side so this negatives and negatives will repel each other that's why electrons will come here the positives will come here holes will come here so here the transformation of transfer of electrons from p to positive terminal of the battery p side to here the holes are coming towards the negative side of the battery that means at the because of the applied potential battery in the forward bias condition the minority charge carriers are recombining each other carriers are recombining because of that the majority charge carriers concentration will increase in the depletion region charge carriers concentration is increasing in depletion region so as the majority charge carriers number is increasing in the depletion region once they used to recombine with each other and because of the external bias they is they are easily flow from p to n side and n to p side once the temper once the voltage is greater than the energy gap of p n diode once they recombine the matter wave will convert it to a photonic wave so that means it is releasing a photon photon is a energetic wave this photon energetic wave as well as associated with color associated with color associated with color means the wavelength is there for the emitted light 
So such like that this LED, this PN junction diode at some particular values after the recombination, once they release the photonic wave, they is actually acting as a light emitting diode. What should be the energy gap for the light emitting diode to emit a particular wavelength? This is very very important. And one more thing, in the present semiconductor devices technology, LEDs are playing the key role and vital role. They are using these LEDs instead of many other things. So what are those values? These things as follows. These LEDs can emit all visible lights. What are the visible lights as the order? Blue, orange, yellow, green, red. Before this one, violet and indigo. This is whatever may be the order. These seven colors are under the visible light configuration. So these LEDs can emit the visible lights. Then what must be the energy gap between this p-type and n-type semiconductors to emit this type of wavelength? The energy gap should be for the visible light on the order of 1.8 eV approximately. The reverse bias breakdown voltage for this type of LEDs is very less. Reverse bias breakdown voltage for LEDs is approximately 5 volts, very less. So the LEDs which has the energy gap of 1.8 EV, they can emit the all visible lights. But there are invisible lights also there, best example infrared. To emit the infrared, there is a semiconductor called GAAS, gallium arsenide. This is the semiconductor which should be used to emit the um, infrared LED, LED light. Infrared LED. Energy gap is in the order of 1.4 EV. And one more is the gallium arsenide passpide also. And that is also one of the best semiconductor which can emit the invisible light rays. So like this, we can classify the lead on the basis of radiation which are emitted by them. What are the advantages of these LEDs? Nowadays, the LEDs are very much useful in many fields. What are the advantages? If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.